Oh, you thought geometry would never be useful in your adult life? So Schrieger lines are a pattern in proposidian, which means elephant, mammoth, ivory, that is theoretically something you can use to tell what animal that ivory came from. Except for the big paper that proved this uh, has some massive errors and I wanna talk about them. So I'm Dr. Megan Weatherell. I'm a paleontologist and a professor of data science. These are the Schrieger lines. I have a couple other videos about them. The problems in this paper come down to two big issues. The first is that even though they include mastodons in the paper, uh, they just pretend they don't exist at the most important parts of the paper. Uh, the second is that their model is run incorrectly and is overfitting their data, which basically means it's probably useless. Uh, but the hide-and-seek mastodon data is the easiest and biggest problem to see. In this paper, they looked at mastodons, mammoths, and a pool of modern elephants, which is three species, <laughs> one genus, although they only had one of each. Uh, and they didn't actually ever provide their data, but they did provide means and standard deviations and their really terrible sample sizes. So I'm going to use that information to reconstruct the data and show you some of the issues. Here's a density plot of that data. You can see that the blobs don't overlap too much, which means that they don't really share very many Schrieger lines. So mastodons have much bigger angles in their teeth than mammoths do. And then they cross compared mammoths and modern elephants. Wow, those look really different too. Such clear separations, kind of. But here's the comparison that they do not provide mastodons versus modern elephants. Whoops, uh, suddenly those Schrieger lines seem to completely overlap. Now you might be thinking, why did they provide those means and standard deviations if they didn't cross compare them? And that would have been a really good question that I wish their peer reviewers would have asked them. Uh, but instead, they only compared modern elephants to mammoths, an error that has propagated through lots and lots of ivory identification literature ever since. And they didn't even cross compare those correctly, which is a whole separate video and I'm running out of time. So if you wanna learn about more problems with this paper and why it may be fucking over some ivory trafficking issues, continue on to the next one, I guess.